Hey guys, this is Farah. Welcome to my channel. We talk about building a business on Amazon on this channel. So if you're interested in that, then please do subscribe. In today's video, we're talking about the state of Amazon seller report by Jungle Scout. Um, I recently came across it and I thought it was quite interesting. Some of the factors were quite interesting. So I wanted to share a couple of points for the new sellers out there who might be thinking of, uh, you know, starting to sell on Amazon and uh, what are things like. So things like what are the challenges sellers are facing, uh, the makeup of the current sellers, um, what are the profit margins like, how much money did they need to start with. And it's all database report. So it will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys download it or um, and go through it. And uh, it's all statistical data. Um, so quite interesting to know some of these factors. So. Um, I'm going to go through a couple of points and uh, give you my view on it um, and uh, let's begin. So, so one of the things that hasn't changed is uh, Amazon US is still the biggest marketplace and what's happened is I think United Kingdom used to be uh, I think second or third but that's fallen to number four. Uh, Canada is the second uh, largest marketplace so that was something quite new to me I thought that UK was number two um, but it could be that um, the UK marketplace is probably number one or two in the Europe uh, like neck to neck with Germany uh, marketplace but um, overall in the world according to the report it's Amazon the US still and uh, obviously towards the bottom of the uh, the scale is like the newer newer marketplaces like uh, which Amazon has just recently launched and a lot of the sellers are uh, selling in their local marketplaces and then like so US sellers are selling in EU and then EU based sellers are selling in the US which is the normal um, transition once you get yourself established in your home marketplace. So that was interesting uh, that the the number of uh, you know uh, the top four or five marketplaces has shifted a little bit, uh, but I think still as a new seller it's easier to get established as a business in your own uh, home country because you would be more aware of the rules that you need to abide by and things of that nature. It's easier to uh, start in your home home marketplace and you know get established there. So the second statistic that was quite interesting was you know all the 3,500 sellers that were uh, interviewed for this report by Jungle Scout they um, they reported that 62% of them were uh, you know as uh, as well as selling on Amazon were also holding down a job too so Amazon was their you know side hustle or the job was side hustle, but they had another source of income. And that was quite interesting that, you know, uh, to get to a point where you are fully relying on Amazon takes time. And obviously that figure would stay probably consistent over the years as uh, they, they talk to different, um, you know, uh, sellers over uh, from year to year that you know establishing on Amazon takes time and you cannot get rid of your job or get out of your job that quickly um, because um, another statistic that was quite interesting was that um, you know the average uh, sales revenue per month so 62% of the people are selling on Amazon plus they're holding down a job which is you know a lot of working hours um, and uh, so uh, individuals or sellers who were earning under or up to 10,000 US dollars per month was 75% uh, of the people were making up to that. So any, anybody make, so how much is that like for a year, that would be 120,000 um, US dollar of turnover sales revenue um, in the year. And obviously that's nothing like the numbers that you see on YouTube. These are not huge numbers. These are like just uh, startup numbers kind of a thing. So that's quite interesting that 75% of the people who responded 
they were only making up, up to 10,000 US dollar per month and um, uh, like so I just added up the number to 75% but there was a breakdown that there were uh, uh, about 22% people who were just making up to $500 and from $500 to $1,000 there was like about 13% then another like 20% or something were making between 5,000 to 7,000 or something like that. So basically if you add up that number up to 10,000, it was 75% of the people interviewed from 3,500 people were just making about 10,000 US dollars per month. So um, it's side hustle money basically. That's what I mean to say that after paying for everything, you wouldn't be left with you know huge amounts of uh, net profit to support your lifestyle and you know carry on working investing in your business and things of that nature so that's why like um, you know investing in good product that can increase your revenue over months is very important and that is also mentioned in like one of the challenges that seller face so f um, I think it says about 50 47% of the people, 47% of the sellers interviewed, they said or surveyed, they said that the biggest challenge they face is um, finding the good product to sell that's profitable. Um, so that's quite interesting. And all of these numbers, like they give you the scale of um, um, an idea about like how uh, difficult things can be and uh, that's why like you need time uh, over time you know build your experience that you're able to sell on Amazon um, learn from your mistakes and you know uh, grow in a way that you're able to reinvest as well and grow it from side hustle to your main hustle so that was like quite interesting so in relation to number of products when you look at average selling price by different sellers um, most of the sellers, so I mentioned that 25% of the sellers were selling uh, products bet priced between um, $26 to $50. Okay, so from 20, 20, 20 uh, over $25 basically and up to $50, there were 25% uh, of the people who were selling that and 51% of the people, so majority of the people were selling products between $11 and $25. So this is the sweet spot basically where most of the products are moving profitably. Um, uh, the average profit margin for sellers who are profitable on Amazon uh, was around over 10%. Okay, so um, that's quite interesting that your net profit margin is about like 10% uh, and uh, obviously that is after you've like you know accounted for everything so a lot of the sellers are profitable and that's why they are in the business that's why you know the list like you know the web retailers top thousand sellers in different countries exist because a lot of people are uh, living off a selling on Amazon and it's a real thing it's just um, you know the challenges faced by sellers um, uh, like you know uh, the difficulty in finding product or managing PPC and what else was mentioned I think made some notes so um, customer reviews you know getting your product off the ground if you rely on uh, methods like uh, Amazon approved methods like uh, Amazon PPC and things like that or natural reviews coming in uh, when uh, people are buying your product and leaving a review that would be like you know this like two to three percent of the people who actually purchase your product uh, so um, you know that's very very little like if you sold 100 euros it'll be like two to three people who would naturally naturally leave a review uh, unprompted you have to entice them in a way that they would leave a review um, so that's the number one challenge difficulty faced by the sellers that how to get reviews because reviews are sort of spin your flywheel your business flywheel faster more reviews you get more sales you get it reinforces in Amazon's algorithm that this product is doing well positive or negatively um, and it, it improves Amazon's customers experience so I so I hope you enjoyed this light-hearted video about some of the stats of uh, what's going on Amazon, what is the state of selling on Amazon uh, in the past year. 
uh, and what the sellers are doing, what the challenges are, what are the average prices, um, and you know the sweet spot now between finding a product from $11 to $50 is the sweet spot. Somewhere between that, you will find the majority of sellers uh, selling their profit, pro uh, products profitably. And you know a lot of people are holding down a job while they're building their business up. So that is uh, how things are going at the moment on Amazon. Um, and obviously, uh, I understand that finding a product is a challenge, but again, you would improve with experience. So link for this report is in the description below. Make sure you guys uh, click on it and read it, go through it, it's very visual. Um, and uh, let me know what you guys think, what are your challenges you're facing in starting or setting up your Amazon business. And uh, if you would like to work with me, you can email me at hello at farfines.com. And uh, yeah, that's all from me today. I will see you guys next week. Bye.